Hi, Roy. My name is Catherine. My phone number is 818 She sounds angry. Annoyed, at least. Again, 818 I got your note that was left on my son's car about you hitting his retarded car. <laughs> I would like to talk to you about this. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Catherine? Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on your car. Yes, you did. And yes, that was my son's car. But where did you actually hit the car? Uh, kind of on the roof, like on the very, very top on the roof. I was standing on top of it, on top of it. You were standing on top of the car? Yeah. And, um, I didn't expect, I didn't expect the roof to give in like that. It just kind of caved in, but I think it might have popped out by now. Well, why would you be standing on top of the car? I was, I was proposing to my girlfriend and I wanted, I wanted to make it dramatic, you know? Why? Why would you stand on top of someone else's car? Well, because I don't have a car, but I just, it was just... Do you live around here? Yeah, yeah. I I just have a a Washington area code because I moved down here last year and I kept my number. And where exactly do you live? Uh, I'm in Van Nuys. You're in Van Nuys, but you're on my street and you're you're trespassing on someone else's car? Well, it's not trespassing. It's, you know, it was parked out there. Well, I know, but... It's not like I I broke in this time. I know, but would you like for someone to step on your car? I don't have a car. That's not the but point. How old are you? I'm 23. But the point is, like, we have pictures and everything. It's it's really romantic and everything. Like, I proposed and she said yes. Well, that's good. I, I'd actually like to see that picture. I think, you know, that... Where, where does she live around here? Uh, she lives uh, in Canoga Park. Okay. I'm going to go see if the roof actually opens... The convertible actually goes down, and um, if it does not, then how are you going to pay to have it fixed? Oh, I don't know. I like you can I, you can call my insurance company. I have uh, renter's insurance at my apartment. I think that'll work, won't it? Um, possibly. Can, are you able to text me your renter's information and your driver's license number? Sure. Well, did you even see damage on the roof? Uh, you know, I expected someone if someone leaves a note saying I hit your retarded car that you would like. See, like I would see like bumper damage or a dent to the door. I would never expect someone to stand on top of a convertible. Yeah. So, no. Well, it was worth it because she said yes. Well, that would be good. I'd actually like to see a picture of that. But let me um, let me go see if the convertible actually opens. Okay. Because it All is right. my son's car and I will call you back. Oh, well, can't we just, can I just but, hold? I mean. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hi, I cannot seem to get it open. Oh, I'm no. going to take it to the BMW mechan- mechanic that we go to, and I can call you back. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really even think it's my fault, though, is it? I mean, because if it wasn't such a retarded car, it, it would have. Because, like, I used to have a car, and I could stand uh, it, on it, and it, it didn't break. I'm sorry. It, is this a joke? I mean, am I on like some show where you you get on someone's car, someone else's property, and you and you're not accepting responsibility? And you think it's okay? No, I'm I'm just saying it. Like if the car I used to have, I had a Ford Focus, and I could stand on it all the time, and and it never broke. Was it. that a convertible Ford Focus? Because you you stood on a convertible, the rooftop opens. Yeah, it's but convertible. Still, I mean, if it was a good car, if it wasn't retarded, it would be able to withstand things like that. Oh my god, this this is a joke, right? No, you are joking. What, what are you talking about? A show? What kind of show would do that? Stand like, on- it, it, Are you trying to like make me look ridiculous? Because no, I'm not trying to make anyone look ridiculous. I I just I don't. It it just seems like it's not my fault because cars. You, okay, my husband has. A Eight. very good friend who works in the eternal affairs of the Los Angeles Police Department. And now I have your phone number and your name. And now I'm pretty sure you probably the, touched the car, too. So now I'm going to have your fingerprints. Well, so this, if you do not send me your name, number, and your driver's license and your address, I'm going to call the police department right now. This Actually, is, in fact, I do have your fingerprints because it's on the postcard that you left. But this isn't an internal affair, affair you know. This is... This wouldn't, what does that have to do with anything? 
my point is, is that you need to send me your information and your renter's information so that I can file a police report. Yeah, but like, like for example, my dad, he's a real estate agent. Oh you know, what, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? My point is, is that you trespassed, you touched someone else's property, you're standing on a vehicle that's not even yours to propose to your girlfriend, and, and you're not yes. accepting responsibility. I'm sorry, please I, send me your information. I, I'm accepting, I, accepting responsibility because I left the note. I was just letting you know what happened in case you were wondering. Like why? Okay, so I'm going to go take this car to the dealer right now and ask them to open this convertible top. If it does not open, then it's your responsibility to have it replaced or fixed. Is it an expensive car? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Is it an expensive car? Not really. Okay. I was just going to say, because I paid 5000 for my car, and you could stand on it. You could like jump on it, and it didn't hurt it at all. You just left footprints on the roof. You just okay. wash them off. But was it a convertible? Do you understand what a no. convertible is? Of course, yeah, it opens up. But it should be able to withstand someone standing on it, right? It's not made of steel. It's made of fabric. I don't even weigh that much. Oh, my God. I, I weigh like 135. I'm starting to feel like at this point this is some kind of insurance scam you're trying to pull on me. Please send me your information, your renter's insurance, and a copy of your driver's license. But his car is Thank retarded. You. It's being retarded. It's not Thank even, you. It's not my fault.